instance variable versus local variable right now what are these uh, in java uh, we have basically three types of variables right if i uh, create a new class um, just name it as a home class right so there are generally three types of variables one is instance variable then we have the local variable and then there are some class type variables right now what are these if i talk about instance variables right anything that is declared inside the class body as in this is the class body the open curly braces and the close curly braces anything that is declared over here like end i equal to one two three right so these are called as instance variables right and anything that is declared inside the method body are called as local variables right these are declared inside the method body right so anything that i declare let's say public void go any any variable that i declared over here and j equal to two three four so this is basically a local variable now why are these are local variables or why uh, we, we also call this instance uh, variable as uh, a global variable as well right a global variable now why global variable because uh, we can access this variable throughout the class throughout the class anywhere we can access this variable right but we cannot access this variable outside this method right so this is a local variable which is accessible within this method only right so the range of this variable is within this method only whereas this variable can be accessed throughout the class so what i can do i can even uh, call the value of i over here and i can change the value of i over here to something else right i can call this i can create uh, one more method public void show and i can change the value of i can again keep some other value of i over here right because this is a global variable it can be accessed throughout the code but if i create any variable within the method the scope of that variable will always be within that method only right but if you if you really want to change this value of j over here or outside this you if you write it like this then you're gonna get some error compiler will ask you that it, it will actually gonna tell you that j cannot be resolved to a variable right even you cannot write it outside it will not able to understand it what exactly this j is right we are getting some errors over here right so this is not possible the scope is limited to this method only now uh, let us do some experiment over here let me change the value of i to 10 right and what i'll do i'll go to my previous class and i'll just call the value of i over here so i'll go inside the main method i'll just comment out this piece of code and i'll call this i over here so how are we going to call this i uh, in order to call this I actually need to create an object of this class. So I'll say home h equal to no, new home, right? Otherwise this uh, Learning method class will not gonna know what uh, this I is because this I belongs to a different class So if you want to call any member of this home class inside a second class inside a different class You actually need to create an object of that class, right? So when I say uh, h dot i plus plus, let's say I've written uh, h dot i plus plus, uh, just give me a moment. Right. 
right? And I'll create one more object of this class by saying h1, right? And then I'll say uh, h1 dot i. I'll again call this i, i plus this. Then again create another object of this class, right? And here I'll not going to increment the value of i. I'll just going to uh, print i over here, right? Now tell me what it should print. The initial value of i is 10, right? So here I'm incrementing the value of i, here I'm incrementing the value of i, and here I'm just printing the value as it is. So if I execute this statement, what it should actually print? Should it print 11, should it print 12, or should it print 10? What, what it should actually print? Just, just think of it, just think of it, right? Just give, give two minutes of your time and just think of it. What this thing will actually be print. So as soon as I execute it, this will actually gonna print 10 only. Right? Now why? What happens over here? Now whenever we are creating an object over here, we have created an object over here. Now this edge is actually a reference. It is actually holding one object over here, right? It is actually holding the copy of this class, right? And the i is actually accessed to this object and the value of i remains 10. And when we uh, call, when we increment, when we say i++, plus plus, then this object 1 actually increments uh, this i is actually called by the object 1 and it increments the value of i to 11. And same thing happen, happens over here. So here another copy of object uh, is created by the reference h1. This is a new copy of uh, this class that is being created. A new object is being created, right? This is uh, my second object. It is also holding the value of i as 10, right? And then same way we are incrementing the value of i and it becomes 11 right and here we have h2 this is the third object this is the third object reference right so we have three copies three different copies of the class are actually created over here and again the value of i is 10 over here and when we print the value of i it remains 10 and it gives the answer as 10, right? So this is how, uh, this is what happens in uh, an object orientation programming, right? How we declare objects and how we create an object of a class and what is the reference and how we actually gonna call method from class. So the moral of the story is whenever you're creating an object of a class, it actually holds the entire copy of this class, right? And these variables, these variables, if you talk about these variables, these uh, are actually these variables belongs to the instance of this class, right? So whenever you are creating different object of a class and whenever we are changing the values of these variables, so these variables are actually copied to uh, the object of a new class, uh, object uh, to the new object of the same class, right? These values are not changed in the initial class. These are actually changed in the copy of this class, which that particular object holds, right? So every object will gonna hold the copy of this variable. Every object as in every instance of that class holds the copy of these variables. So that is the reason we call them as instance variable. Now next thing, uh, we'll take a look at class variables. Now what are class variables? Okay, let me take an example. Let's say uh, if I open MSP, right. Now let's say we are in a class and uh, let's say if I 
there are three notepads, right? I give you three these three notepads, and I want that uh, you to write uh, any value of i, right? You write as one. Uh, someone has written as eleven. Uh, uh, let's say someone has written as ten. Someone has written as eight, right? Now, what is this? These are three different objects. Let's treat them as a different object of a same class, right? The value was one. The value was notepad. But on three notepads, we have written different different values, right? So we call them as an instance variable, right? We we have actually called them as an instance variable, where we are actually creating three objects of a class. We are uh, changing the values, uh, but the class value remains added as it is, right? If there is one uh, notepad with me as well. And I've written i over here. So you have written the value of i as 10. Someone else has written as uh, 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 10, and someone else has written as 8, right? So in your notepad, the values are different. And whatever if this is, uh, the major notepad that I am actually containing. If this has a value as 10 or anything else, so this belongs to this class, right? Now this value never gets changed. Only these values are being changed. Same way, what I if if I do uh, let's say if I remove this thing and if uh, if we have one common notepad, right? If we have one common notepad and we are sh actually sharing this notepad, so what happens initially? The value of i is ten. Now now I have shared you the same notepad to the very first person. Now what he does, he changes the value of i to eleven. So what happens? The value changes over here in this notepad. Same way, this person it changes the value of i to 20. So the value actually changes over here. This person he changes it to 30. Value changes over here. Right. Now what I'm trying to say that if I make this thing as static. Now what is static? We're going to talk about this thing uh, as well uh, in coming lectures. It's just to explain what the class variables are. Uh, I'm making this thing as static. Now, what happens if I make it static and if I again go over here and if now I run this statement, uh, this code, then let's see what the value of i comes to. Say it comes to 12. Right? Because this time, what is happening? This thing becomes static, and this thing actually becomes a class variable. It means that it belongs to this particular class, and whenever we are calling that particular uh, class variable over here, we are actually changing the value of that class variable. So whatever that we change over here, it gets changed to this class variable. And then when we call that same variable over here, we increment that value. It again calls this one, whatever the last value that it was holding, and it got incremented. And then we print it. So we are actually printing the same class value. We are not creating a copy of this class, right? In, in previous example, when we were calling the instance variable, we were actually creating a copy of this class, and then we were calling the instance vari variable. Now we are actually calling the class variable when we make any particular data member as static. So this is what your instance variable, local variable, and the class variable. So if we go back to the presentation, this is what we have seen a difference between an instance variable, local variable, and there is one called as class variable, right? And uh, then if we talk about accessing objects, method, and instance variables, so in, in, a, in a class, you will be dealing with, uh, if, if, we, if I go back to Eclipse, you will be dealing with either the instance variables or the methods, right? These are the two things that you generally be dealing inside a class, right? So whenever uh, the method and instance variable of uh, any object can be accessed by the help of dot operator. So whenever you want to access them, you need to create an object of uh, a class and you need to create a reference variable. And whenever you say 
that reference variable with dot operator you can access either the instance variable of that class or you can access the method of this class so over here this is a reference variable and this is an object of a class and this is the class name so reference variable dot and the method that we have accessed all right so based on whatever that we have discussed so far we're going to do some assignment right so this is an assignment for you uh what you need to do is uh you basically need to create a calculator right now if i talk about calculator there are various functionalities available in a calculator as in i can add something i can subtract something i can multiply something i can divide something right so what you need to create you need to create some uh methods methods uh that should uh okay you need to create uh, four methods one for addition one for subtraction one for multiplication and one for division now there are some rules all the methods they have the return types as integer right so the return type of these method should be integer and then uh, these method will every method will gonna have two parameters and all the parameters will be of int type right so this is what you need to design and then uh, we're gonna see how we can call these methods right so this is an assignment for you uh, just try for it I'll wait for two minutes and then I'll let you know the solution so just give it a thought try it on your own and then uh, I'll I'm also going to provide you a solution to this. All right.